The physical model is one way of expression in architectural visualization. It not only makes your design easier to understand, but also makes the whole drawing look more interesting. Many designers, including myself, favor this way of design expression. So, how can you use SketchUp and V-Ray to create an utterly realistic-looking physical model? We will tell you all we know about it in three episodes. There are already some tutorials discussing this, but we will lay out the most complete workflow to render physical models step by step, from easy to difficult, and try to add more details that are not covered in those tutorials. Okay, let's get started. Actually, it's very easy to achieve the effect of physical models in V-Ray because the artificial lights in V-Ray already make the render of the model look very fake. You might even find V-Ray rendering your model into physical models, even if you don't want that. What? But why? The reason is simple. The scale of the real building is very large. When you use a single V-Ray artificial light as an environment light source, V-Ray will produce a rendering with a small looking model. The contrast makes your brain think that it is a physical model. Even if you cover the model with realistic materials, it will still look fake, tiny, and cute. You will still feel like it's a small object. Take for example this work by Alvalo Siza, Borges and Irma Bank. If you render a small object, you won't feel the contrast. Instead, you tend to think it's a real object. Take, for example, the model of the Kodak 35mm rangefinder camera. There are three steps to achieve this effect. Step 1. Build the model. For materials, there is no need to make too much effort. Just use some different wood textures or colors to distinguish different structures. You don't even need to add reflection, refraction, or anything else in materials in V-Ray. Step 2. Disable sunlight and environment background in V-Ray. Add a V-Ray light wherever you like. The light can be rectangle light, sphere light, spotlight, or IES light. All of them are okay. To better see the effect from two directions, add two rectangle lights with the same intensity and size on both sides. Step 3. Rendering. You only need to adjust exposure in the V-Ray buffer frame. And there we have it. A tiny Borges and Irma bank. This is the end of the tutorial. See you next time. What? Wait a minute. Didn't you say there were three episodes? For physical model rendering, if you think the result is good enough, then that was really the end of the tutorial. But if you're not satisfied with this and want a more impressive image, Obviously, that's not enough. To see how to further improve, the next thing we should focus on is completion. Completion is a state. It is very important, not only in physical model rendering, but in any form of rendering. A work with high completion doesn't make the model look authentic, per se, but makes you completely forget the problem of authenticity so that you will focus on design itself. What bothers people the most is low completion, defects, and various flaws in the picture. It's not difficult to improve completion, it only requires some carefulness and dedication. Okay, let's get it more completed. Since it is a model, it should be put on a stand, then add a stand. Since it is a stand, you will see the floor and the wall, then add a floor and a wall. Usually, there are several LED lights inside the model, then add the interior lights. 
Since there are lights, we need to prepare some sockets and plugs. Add some people and trees to emphasize architectural scale. Finally, add a nameplate. If you like, you can enclose the model with a glass cover. Perfect. Were you able to do it? If you feel at home with the above work, then let's talk about tacky aesthetics and sophisticated aesthetics. This picture is already very realistic, but it's still not beautiful, or at least it lacks some sense of sophistication. It looks more like a picture you take when you walk through an exhibition in an art museum without considering about the composition or whether the exposure is correct. Aesthetics is a complicated issue. Many problems are not as simple as beautiful or ugly. They involve too much personal experience, emotion, and consideration. It's hard for us to make such a grand concept clear in a short video. But when you don't know what to do, you can look for inspiration on websites like Pinterest and search for physical models to look at other people's works and see what the most universal aesthetic is like. Before you form your own style, at least this kind of beauty will be accepted by most people and it's hard to go wrong. It is not hard to find that pictures that impress you or make you feel their beauty are always more exquisite in lighting or photography. In the next episode, we will talk about how to make the lights and the angle of the photography more attractive for physical models. This is SketchUp Rabbit Hole. We will share tutorials on SketchUp modeling, V-Ray rendering, Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, and other architectural visualization tutorials every week. Subscribe to us and don't forget to hit the notification bell to keep up to date with our latest videos. You will get more interesting tutorials and examples of things that you've never seen before. We are special. See you next time.